considering a 4 bit adder which will be having full adder 0 starting with the full adder 0 which has inputs a0 which has inputs a0 and b0 the output being sum 0 and c out 0 and for a full adder we're gonna have another input isn't it so that will be c in 0 the first the previous carry in and the next stage being f a1 f a1 with the inputs a1 b1 and c out 0 is also the uh, the input for the next stage and we're gonna have that outputs sum 1 and carry out 1 c out 1 which is also c into the input to the next stage isn't it so full adder 2 with a2 b2 as inputs and sum 2 and c out 2 which is also c in 3 which is also c in 3 for the next stage in the final stage for a full 4 bit adder considering a 4 bit adder f a 3 with the inputs a 3 b 3 and uh, the output sum 3 and also c out 3 c out 3 so this is the arrangement for a uh, 4 bit adder apart from this inputs and the uh, sums and carry out we will be considering another output from each full adder which is the propagate signal p0 p0 which is exclusive operation between a0 and b0 and also we are going to have p1 uh, in the sense uh, propagate signal from each and every full adder uh, p2 and also p3 all these propagate signals are connected to an AND gate here like this we are going to connect all these propagate signals to an AND gate AND gate and here we consider the output and also we will be making use of a, we are considering a 4 bit adder as an example isn't it we will be considering another a 2 is to 1 max 2 is to 1 max uh, which has 2 inputs and 1 output which also has a selector line input enabling um, input so the question is uh, where these inputs come from it's from c1 c1 okay like this c1 and one from c out another connection from c out over here c out over here and the enabling pin selector line we're gonna have from the connection from the and gate output is given as input i mean selector line for two is to one max and this will be the zeroth pin and this will be pin number one what it says two is to one max when the enabling selector line is zero uh, whatever data is existing in the zeroth pin will be connected to the output and whenever the enabling the selector line is at one at one whatever data is in pin number one will be forwarded to the output isn't it yeah now this will be a final carry in carry skip adder not this one not anything from here sum is okay sum will be considered from this uh, sum will be consider at these positions but this is in the final carry out this point is the final carry out so considering a random um, yeah bit addition uh, let it be one zero one one and randomly it's a one one zero one for supposing and the previous carry being zero previous carry being zero here previous carry being a, a zero so in general what addition do we have it's a one one so uh, sum is sum is zero sum is zero carry is one and one one again so sum is zero and carry is one uh, one and one isn't it uh, previous carry being zero so one and one so sum is zero carry is one and even here uh, with the carry this one we're gonna have one and one it's sum is zero carry is one and we're gonna have three over here sum is one and carry is one let's check can we get these for these random inputs all right so this one these are carries all right these are carries with this input do we really have this output from this circuit all right cn is already zero and considering this will be our a0 a0 and b0 it's our a1 and b1 this is our a2 and b2 this being a3 
and B3 input. All right. So A0, B0, 1 and 1. A0, B0, 1 and 1. Um, exclusive operation between 1 and 1. It's a 0. All right. And 0 and 0, it's a 0 once again. So the sum will be 0. Uh, sum will be 0 and the carry will be, I mean, 1 and 1. Sum will be 0, carry will be 1. Uh, here again, A1, B1. A1, uh, B1. It's a 1 and 0. Here we're going to have 1 and 0. Uh, 0 plus 1 plus 1. Sum is 0 and carry from this FA1 is 1 again. And A2, B2. A2, B2 is a 0 and 1. It's a 0 and 1. 1 plus 0 plus 1, it's a 2, sum will be 0 again, sum will be 0 again and carry will be 1, alright. And A3, B3, it's a 1 and 1, A3, B3, it's a 1 and 1, sum will be 1 and uh, carry also will be 1. This is not the actual part, okay. The same thing, whatever I answered over here, the same thing over here, but finally, um, this is the uh, carry out, isn't it? So, how does this really work? And this being 1, this being 1 and this being 0, what values are appearing over here? Uh, pin number 1 is at 0 value. Here, pin number 1 is at 0 value and uh, pin 0 is at 1. Pin 0, we're going to have 1. All right. So, remember this one. Pin 1 is with a data 0, C in 0 and pin 0, input 0 is at value uh, with the data 1. Remember this one. And also, guys, we gonna we will be considering this also, the propagate signal, which is exclusive operation between, like if I say P0, exclusive operation between A0 and B0. And exclusive operation between 1 and 1, it will be a 0. So, P0 will be, P0 will be, it's a, a 0. And P1, guys, it's a exclusive operation between 1 and 0. It's a 1, but still, uh, irrespective of these inputs, irrespective of P1, P2, P3, we don't need to discuss about this one time saving factor like thing. We have a 0 over here, which is input to the AND gates and definitely it will be a uh, 0 over here. The enable, it's the uh, selector line is at 0. In the sense, whatever data is in the 0th pin will be connected to the output. In the sense, these are 0th pin and 0th pin has value 1. Now, this is connected to the output in the sense, we're going to have 1 over here. This will be the final, this one, the carry out. And these are, this is like, it's our S0, S1, S2, S3 and C out 3, which is the final carry. Let's check S0, we're going to have a 0, S1, it's a 0, S2, it's a 0, S3, it's a 1. And final C out is also a 1. Um, guys, checking for another random C in the same value. What? Uh, we have 1, 0, 1, 1 and 1, 1, 0, 1. Okay. So, considering what if the carry in, the previous carry in is 1. Will this really work again? What if the previous carry is 1, C in is 1. Let me erase all these and so that we don't have any, let me not have any confusion while explain that one what is really happening all right so what it is s0 forget about all these the previous one it's a one and one and zero zero all right let me erase this one so yeah considering what if the scene is one in the sense uh scene we're gonna have one over here one uh, let's check is this really working the same thing so what what is the complete addition over here it's a if it is the previous carry is one it will be uh, 3 in a sense uh, sum is 1 carry is also 1 1 and 1 sum is uh, 0 carry is 1 it's a 1 and 1 sum is 0 carry is 1 it's a 3 so sum is 1 and carry is 1 let's check if this really exit uh, if the circuit is uh, able to produce the same output as previous uh, with this result all right so with seen being 1 See in with the previous carry being 1, we're going to have uh, pin number 1 is having data 1. All right. And let's check if where do we reach with the C out, final C out. And A0, um, it's a 1 and 1 again. It's a 1, A0, B0, it's a 1 and 1 again. 
and once again um, like the sum is uh, 1 and carry is 1 all right with uh, previous carry being 1 1 and 1 sum is 1 and carry is 1 and a1 b1 a1 b1 1 and 0 a1 b1 1 and 0 with uh, 0 plus 1 plus 1 sum is 0 carry is 1 all right and for the next input 0 and 1 0 and 1 with 1 plus 0 plus 1 sum is 0 and carry is 1 and a3 b3 being 1 and 1 isn't it a3 b3 these are a3 b3 1 and 1 it should be sum equal to 1 and uh, carry out is also 1 now what about the propagate signal uh, exclusive operation between these two 1 and 1 it's a 0 again p0 is 0 again all right this 0 irrespective of these propagate signal values let it be 1 and 0 irrespective of these we don't need to discuss about these propagate signals this 0 makes this 0 makes the AND gate output to be 0 and what it means that data which is at the 0th pin all right this is our 0th pin and this will be connected to the output in the sense we're going to have one over here all right we're going to have one over here the same one is transmitted to the output and this is our s0 which is equal to 1 these are s0 s1 s2 s3 and c out through the final carry all right we're going to have one yes equal to one it's a zero it's a zero it's a one and one this is how a carry skip adder which is also known as carry bypass adder works